What's going on? What's going on, everybody? I want to thank everybody um, for who's been checking out the WGTB Boot City Radio website, and I want to welcome y'all to my latest edition of Hard in the Paint, where uh, no service is out of bounds. Don't have a lot of time, so we're going to go ahead and, and, and get right off to uh, what matters today. What's going on? Ray Rice, video surface, he has um, been suspended from the NFL indefinitely, and he has also been uh, cut by the Baltimore Ravens. A lot of people are up in arms about he shouldn't have hit his wife and everything like that. I'm going to say this. Um, what took place at the time was, was absolutely horrific and not something that I condone. Um, what I will say is this, is that we're rushing the judgment over something that happened over a few minutes, something that we've seen. We didn't see what happened before, and we didn't see what happened after. Now, I'm not condoning violence on women. I'm not. I'm absolutely not. I don't believe in it. There's there's no place for it. Um, that being said, at the time he struck this young lady, this was his fiance. She did marry him. Um, she has since come to his defense. Some people are saying that this dude is a serial woman abuser. That's their feeling on it. And some people are feeling like she's dumb. I'm going to say this. I'm not going to rush the judgment because I don't know Ray Rice. And since I've been uh, watching this gentleman play football, there's been nothing that has led me to the belief that he is this type of person. He has had no incidents um, with law enforcement. He's had no incidents with uh, making negative comments towards women or saying anything bad about women or, or obey. Well, I know that's being redundant, but he's had no incidents involving women and abuse. That being said, I can remember when Solange attacked Jay-Z in the elevator and not too many people had anything to say bad about it. So I'm going to say this. Stephen A. Smith got him into trouble with it, with it by saying it on ESPN. I'm going to say it here. In this day and age that we live in, women are finding themselves increasingly in a position where they feel like they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a man. You can't. Stop. Unless you have some type of mixed martial artist skills, in which case I'm going to say everything being equal, if we put another mixed martial artist in the ring with a woman who happens to be a male, it's not going to go her way. So, women, I understand that you feel a certain type of way, but please know, the same woman that gave birth to a man is the same woman that told a man, don't let a woman put his hands on her. If, he, if she feels bad enough to put, his hands, put her hands on him, he needs to lay her out. Our fathers taught us not to put our hands on you, and we try our best to adhere to that philosophy. But women, how about teaching your daughters not to put their hands on men? Because here's what's coming out. Now, I don't know how true this is, but this is what's been said. Prior to Ray Rice hitting this young lady... She spit on him, and I'm here to tell you, spitting in somebody's face is one of the most disgusting things you can do to another human being. We don't know that because Ray Rice won't speak on it. And if he loves this woman, I can respect and understand why he won't speak on it. This woman has come forth and said this is one of the most horrible uh, incidents to take place in their life, and they're trying their best to move beyond it. We won't let them. To the NFL, I say this. There's no way in the world you just now found out about this video. There's no way in the world you're just now seeing this. You want to punish Ray Rice indefinitely for something that, you know what, up until this point, we did not know he was capable of doing? At some point in time, you have to step outside the box and remove yourself from your own idiosyncrasies and say, you know what, how about let me try to understand? Because that's what we've been asking ourselves as a community when it comes down to the, the, the Mike Brown situation. We've been asking that people understand how we feel as a race. Well, how about let's step outside of the box and understand what may have transpired with Ray Rice before we be so quick to jump to judgment? Because that's all we're doing is jumping to judgment. Like I said, I'm not defending it. I'm not saying I agree with it. But before we just come out and say, hey, this guy is butt-ass wrong for doing what he did, let's try and figure out what took place first. That's all I'm saying before we just rush to judgment. Women, I understand we're not supposed to put our hands on you. But that doesn't give you the right to put your hands on a man. I'm Theo Butler, WGTB Boot City Radio. This is our first segment of Heart in the Paint. I'm out. Peace.